Feijoada is, uh, because in Brazil we had a lot of slavery in the past, so feijoada is like a mix of Africa and Brazil. It's like black beans with pork and uh, rice and a little bit of salad, a traditional salad that only you can only find in uh, Latin America. I'm Carol, I'm 29 years old, and I'm living in Paris for six months now. And I'm from, originally from Brazil, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is the biggest city in South America. So it's really huge, it's really metropolitan. There's people from all around the world. You can find all, every cuisine that you imagine you can find in Sao Paulo, but the traditional uh, Brazilian food, I can say, it's rice and beans. In every place that you go in Brazil, you're gonna eat rice and beans, and then the variations of it, like different kinds of meats, different kinds of vegetables, but uh, the rice and beans are like the, the base of our cu uh, cuisine. And then we have like typical plates of the day when you go eat in out, like Monday, you eat this thing. If you eat in a restaurant, Tuesday, it's like the pl plate of the jour, they sing in French, but in Sao Paulo, it's like a, a lao, I don't know how to say it. Like every Wednesday, you eat feijoada and every Tuesday. So that's one thing that I think is very Sao Paulo because you don't find this in other states. I'm vegetarian since I was 12 but we have like feijoada mm, vegetarian in Brazil, which is really, really good. But the most important memory that I have about it, it's like going out with my father and my mom when I was really little, I was still eating meat. And then we go to eat together and like simple things, you know, in a Saturday, my dad, my father was like, oh, you don't need to cook today. Let's go to the next street and eat something and go back. And then I think that's why this dish means, that's why I think this dish means a lot to me because of my father, because he died one year ago. And then the cuisine is something that reminds me of him because we eat a lot together. Mom is from Minas Gerais, it's another state from, from Brazil. And the cuisine in Minas Gerais, it's like really, really good. So my mom cooks a lot in, in, her, uh, in her house and she's the one who teach me how to, to cook. So yeah, but sometimes we eat out. My father used to love feijoada because he loves meat. He used to love meat, but yeah, he loved feijoada a lot. <laughs> uh, I started cooking when I was around 12 I guess because my brother was not staying home with me anymore he was working and then I was uh, in my home alone when I was not in school so my mother teach me how to cook like rice beans the, the classical and how to fry an egg and this kind of stuff so I started when I was 12 and then when I was getting older I was learning other things So my father, he was a truck driver, so he was uh, traveling a lot through Brazil and stuff. So he was, he was not a lot in my house, he was a lot of fun traveling. So this is something that we get used to when I was little and then when I grow up. And my mother, she's a teacher for little kids. So she takes care of like babies uh, from kindergarten, kindergartner. And then I spend a lot of more time with my mom and my brother than with my father. So that's why like when we hang out to eat, it was a special moment because this didn't happen often. So that, yeah, so that's why I, I have these memories of him like eating out. I cook with the same recipe my mom gave me, like with the possibilities that I have in, in France. Uh, like the beans here, uh, in Brazil, we used to buy them raw, like the seed, and then we put in the water overnight so it can be more soft. And then you change the water on the other day so it can be even more soft and take like some hours to cook. 
So here in France, I cannot find like that. Or if I find it's a little expensive because it comes from Brazil. So I buy it like in cans, it's ready already. So I just need to put like my spices and this kind of stuff. But the recipe is the same. Because I'm veg uh, cook vegetarian food because I'm vegetarian. Since I started cooking when I was 12, one day I was like, I don't want to eat meat anymore because I'm passionate with animals. So I stopped it. So every time that I cook, my mom knew that I was not going to cook meat. So she's okay with it. Yeah, my dad, he tasted uh, He said, eh, it's not the same thing, but it's good. <laughs> so yeah, my father used to love meat, so. When I was little, it was super exciting because I didn't spend a lot of time with my dad. So when he was in the city, I went to eat out. He was tired, but he went out with me to, to eat and this kind of stuff and like go to amusement parks and eat things that my mom didn't allow to eat <laughs> on a daily basis. So it was really exciting. And when I was getting older, like the last years, I was working so I could pay for our meals. And then I was like, yo, oh, dad, let me take you out. Let's take moms out and then we're going to eat something. So the feeling was the same, like being a little child again, but more mature. So this is funny because it was a special moment. So the first time, I, first time that I ate feijoada, yeah. um, I was very little. So I, like it's natural for me because I looks like I'm born eating it because I don't remember the first time exactly, but uh, I know that it's something that it's really, it's really Brazil because <laughs> it's difficult to explain. Like everyone, I think already eats that in, in Brazil. And when I was really little, I remember the first time that I saw it because we, uh, we in the restaurants, they put like in a little pot like that and the rice and the, everything is like in little pots and then you take everything and put it in your plate because it's a food to share so it's really big like the 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 middle the uh the meat and the the beans and the rest is like really little and i remember the first time that i saw this in a plate in a table and i was like oh my god that's so pretty and it smells so nice and then i went with my mom and my dad and then we eat it and I was like, mm, super good because it's super warm and was a little cold in the day. So it's a really good food to warm you up to because, yeah, it's a lot of food. <laughs> the philosophy of my life, I think, changed it after my father died because I think griefs change you like in so many ways. And he died like with uh, 59 years old, was not even 60, he died young. So I think my new philosophy of life is enjoy the road and do everything that you like, even if it's not the best decision, but if you're happy with it, if, you, if your heart wants it, just do it. That's why I'm here. That's why I quit my corporate job and I live in Paris right now.